Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up, proud of you. Most of you guys have probably already seen this clip. It's been all over the internet and for good reason. Honestly, I could not miss the opportunity to talk about my boy, Steve Harvey. He's been one of my most beloved characters on the internet for so long. And I feel like this is just the perfect opportunity to talk about this God blessed, beautiful, very mustached man. Really what's going on with his mustache. That and more today. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason she is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. I know we're supposed to be laughing at Steve Harvey, but I can't not acknowledge how fucking stupid this shit is. It's like, this is something that like should have existed like a hundred years ago, walking women around stage like Barbie dolls. You wanna know how they win the bathing suit competition? I, let me read off the criteria for that. This is my favorite one. Well-proportioned body. What is that? You can't even control that. You, that's not even in, that, that, it just means you got born into, you, you got a good body. You were born with a good body. Poise, posture, and carriage. Carriage, sounds interesting. Tell me more about carriage. Now, interestingly enough, Miss Philippines here lost her parents at a young age. Proper fit of the swimsuit, well, I mean, that doesn't seem that tough. You just buy a fucking swimsuit that fits you. You know, it shouldn't be too hard. I guess if you buy an ill-fitting swimsuit, then yeah, it doesn't speak very well. I mean, who the, who the fuck shows up to Miss Universe in like a frumpy swimsuit? And then, of course, who can forget energy and charisma? Hi, my name's Easy Clark. I'm very energetic and charismatic. All my friends really say that I'm a great dad. Yeah, everybody likes me a lot. I know that my body fat levels are not exactly perfect, but I make up for it in energy and charisma. Miss Universe 2015 is Colombia. If you don't know by now, Steve Harvey actually announced the wrong winner. The winner was Philippines, but watch how long he lets her stand there and soak up that sweet, sweet cringe. It's a prank, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 It's a prank, bro. It took this guy two and a half minutes before he came out to correct his mistake. Not a big deal, just a bit of a goof. Honestly, one of the best pranks I've seen all year. I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. It's a prank, bro. Take your first walk as Miss Universe. You can tell it's the happiest day of her life. Miss Philippines. You can tell it's the happiest day of her life. Take your first walk as Miss Universe. This is exactly what's on the card. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the card. Let's get a close-up of this card. How do you fuck that up, dude? There's three things on it. Well, at least the guy was apologetic. I mean, he made this really thoughtful tweet where he misspelled both of their countries. Oops, what a goof. It's a prank, bro. The first runner up is Columbia. It is my mistake. Still a great night. I know I fucked this up, the most important moment of this whole competition. I know I ruined it for both of these women, right? Still, what a great night. 12 billion years all led up to this beautiful, beautiful night. Give it up, everybody in the universe. The best night in Miss Philippines' life. I mean, get a look at her face. What a great night. I get the feeling that Steve Harvey's not doesn't come from Earth with that fucking mustache. What galaxy is that mustache from, dude? How are you gonna pawn that off as real? What's going on there? 
Seriously, it looks like a caterpillar crawled up on your lip and died. You just glued it down, man. What the fuck? Welcome and thank you for joining us today on another episode of Meme Busters. And today we are here to bust the meme on Steve Harvey's mustache. I believe he puts makeup on his mustache. And we have some photographic evidence here we'll show you. I believe that you can see the outline of the makeup on his mustache. The explanation that his mustache is just that thick is the, less, is the least likely. I would be shocked. It can't be. <laughs> it's more likely that he like found a leprechaun and plucked its ass hairs and surgically implanted it on his lip or something. Make me beautiful, Elo. I wanna be like Stephen Harvey. <laughs> okay, guys. So, ha! I look like fucking Mario brother. Colby person <laughs> eyebrows, Steve go. Harvey mustache. Is this meme busted? This meme is busted, right? I think this meme is busted. This meme is busted. You know, I feel bad for Steve. He seems like a really nice guy. It was an honest mistake. He tried to make up for it. You know, he deserves a slide in this case. Oh, no, no, wait, no he doesn't. He's a fucking asshole. This guy sucks, all right? If you feel bad for him, watch this next video and tell me what you think then. Does he have a relationship with God? You sitting up here talking to a dude and he tells you he's an atheist, you need to pack it up and go home. You know, you're talking to a person who don't believe in God, you finna, you finna, where, what's his moral barometer? Where is it at? It's nowhere. Ladies out there, if you're gonna date somebody, make sure he's religious, okay? Like Steve Harvey here. He's got a moral barometer. That's why he's been married three times and each one of his marriages ended when he cheated on them. He's got a moral barometer. If you don't believe in God, then where's your moral barometer? That's just me talking. I you can believe what you, you want to believe, yeah. but if, if you're an atheist, you're basing your goodness and morality on what? I mean, but what is an atheist? I don't, I don't really get into that. You know what? I've talked to people all the time. I'm an atheist. I just walk away. Very enlightened, dude. You know, I gotta say, it's, it's a little bit scary when I hear religious people saying that if you don't have God, you have no sense of right and wrong. The implication is that he, if he didn't have the Bible to tell him what was good or not, he'd just be out there raping people. They're really insulting themselves, right? Because it's like saying, if I didn't have God to tell me what's good, what to do, then I, I, w I wouldn't have care about anybody. This moral barometer is all over the place. But you plug Jesus right in and it's like, hey, cheat on my fourth wife today. Moral barometer. Thanks, Jesus. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. you know, well, an atheist is someone who doesn't quite believe in, that there is somebody out there, some God out there. Well, then to me, you're an idiot. That's dope, dude. You should be proud of your ignorance and unwillingness to listen to other people's opinions. That's really cool, man. You should be proud of that. You should write books. Actually, I've got a copy of his newest book entitled How to Inflate Your Self-Worth by Dismissing the Views of Other and Taking the Moral High Ground While Actively Cheating on Your Spouse. It's a really terrific read or otherwise known as My Moral Barometer. No, but seriously, he actually does write relationship books. I don't know who's writing it. Is it him or the mustache? Let me check my moral barometer today. Today it says to cheat on my fourth wife. Well, it was never my choice. The barometer says it right here. I'm just not, probably fine. not the right politically correct thing no, no, to say. No. But if you don't believe in God, I mean, really, you've got to have an explanation for this. You just can't tell me this spun out of a gastrous ball. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, then we were evolved from monkeys. Why we still got monkeys? Why we still got monkeys? Checkmate atheists. Why we still got monkeys? It's too much open here. I just believe that. And if you don't believe that, then I don't like talking to you. I... It's no wonder evolution's such a mystery to the guy. He can't fucking read a card, let alone a book. Kind of explains a couple of things, don't you think? Talking about evolution shit. Something more unexplainable in your fucking upper lip, man. Like you say, <laughs> men cheat because women allow them to. Elaborate. <laughs> I mean, you know, look, women ask that question all the time. You yeah. know, that's one of the biggest questions. You know, why do men cheat? But I mean, it's, it's really because there are so many women out there willing to cheat with them. Can we please get women in burkas, guys? This is Steve Harvey's vision of a perfect society where women are covered up because it tempts him and therefore it's their fault. I mean, this is like saying pedophilia wouldn't be a problem if all those eight-year-olds weren't so goddamn sexy, you know? If there's no temptation, it's not a problem. You're tempting me, so it's your fault. You sexy ass eight year olds. I think at this point, Steve Harvey just better go join ISIS. And while he's at it, I think we better block up eight year olds in little cages because they're tempting all the pedophiles. Can we please get some burkas and cages in this perfect utopian society we call Syria? The first runner up is Colombia. It is my mistake. Still a great night. Basically, in conclusion, Steve Harvey goofed. He made a bit of a mistake, but he's a good guy and he deserves a pass. On whole, I rate this the best prank 
2015. It's a prank, bro. Frankly, Ela, it's not even fair. You know what I'm saying? Frankly, Ela, it's not even fair how easy it is to get pussy with these bracelets right now. This is not a joke. 